going on YouTube? This is your man, one half of the brand, Abe. Uh, wanted to come to you really quick. I wanted to do a quick review on uh, of the of the whole uh, Jay Z freestyle. A quick, you know, quick reaction. Um, Jay Z did a freestyle recently over the somehow, some way uh, beat at his B sides concert. Uh, it was pretty dope. So a lot of good uh, stuff and you know gems in, in it. So. Um, Wanted to kind of break it down really quick. Nothing too extensive, but I just wanted to point out a few things um, and, you know, kind of use it as an example of, uh, of some things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, break it down uh, and then I'm going to let it play out at the end as well. So, uh, yeah, so you guys just sit back um, and again, you know, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and comment. Um, I'm also going to put the lyrics in the description box as well. So, yeah. So let's let's get into it, man. Jay, this is this is the goat right here, man. Let's see what he's doing. Yo, man, I got your people moving. That's a small place, and so I guess he was doing. Anybody still confused as to what he was doing? The neighborhood decided that he was trapped. They read lines of how many times he lived by flash. Oh, I mean that's pretty in a, a, apparent, you know, property declining. Uh, with, with black people in the neighborhood or what have you. I mean, you know, uh, but the, the trap piece that he mentioned there, I wanted to say something that made me think of uh, something that I read a long time ago in Behold the Pale Horse. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Behold the Pale Horse. If you're not, I uh, urge you to go read this book if you can find it. Uh, but yeah, he talked about William Cooper, the author, talked about um, the rat trap effect and how the ghettos and how the, the projects were designed um, specifically to keep us, you know, oppress and keep us, you know, uh, at, at odds and fighting and killing. And so really, you know, really quickly, uh, the model was this simple. Two rats uh, in a box and they're both starving. Um, you give one rat cheese, you give the other rat a weapon. Um, the rat this with the cheese, he's hungry. He's not going to share. So what do you think the rat with the weapon is going to do? He's going to harm the rat with the cheese. Um, so then what they do is they, uh, take the cheese from the rat, you know, they had it initially, they give it to the, to the rat that had the weapon and they give the other rat an even bigger weapon. And what do you think he's going to do to the rat with the cheese? He's going to kill him. Um, and then what do you think they're going to do to the rat that had the bigger weapon and kill the rat? They're going to, they're going to, they're going to punish him pretty much. So. Um, that, that's kind of the model. That was the thinking. Um, and, you know, he even said in his book, you know, that whoever designed that model and, and they're, they're pretty much going to hell. So, uh, it was all designed, but yeah, behold the pale horse. Um, let's get back into it. They depress the asset. We take the property back. The asset is us. They depress us. They break us down. They confuse us. They, they do all of that to us. And then we can't even begin. No, we don't even know where to begin to even try to fix our situations. So we're just lost and everything is broken down around us, you know. Um, and they come in and they take the property back and try to do whatever they do with it. So... Now we're fighting on the scraps. Scraps in the barrel, but scraps don't belong in the barrel that you can't let to the back. Mm. So when the barrel, we don't act like we have it. We didn't used to get out the barrel and stand on the surface back. Facts. Facts. As long as they say attached, they can pull everybody out. I was going to say stack. I told you, brother, this stay close. A hundred million dollars on your schedule. Mm. And that's another deep thing where, uh, you know, a lot of the people that, you know, make it to a certain level, um, they feel like they have to go back to their hood. They feel like they have to be true. They have to, you know, uh, be in the mix. Um, we have to think of a better strategy to pull our people out of those situations uh, because our people are hurting in, in, their, in, in the projects and in, in the inner city and in, in those dilapidated parts. Um, and we got to realize that hurt people sometimes hurt people. Uh, so you have to be careful. 
so we have to be a little more strategic in how we move and, and how we plan to elevate our people in the community. So, you know, um, but yeah, that, that's unfortunately how it happens uh, um, a lot of the time, um, especially for rappers. They go back to their hood and they try to save or help or give back and just be amongst the people and they end up losing their lives, which is pretty sad. And and that's another thing too. Um, if you believe in positive affirmations, uh, then you understand the power of words. You truly understand that if you say something um, that's positive and you you know you repeat it, you know it can bring forth that thing that that you're repeating it's, it's just it's just a it's like cleansing your mind and, and and just putting positive things into the atmosphere um i read somewhere that one negative thought is 10 times more powerful than a, than a positive thought you know and of course that's something that is debatable but um we live in a society where uh you know it's easy to really think negatively all the time so we have to be careful uh what we're thinking and um you know, we send ourselves these positive, uh, I'm sorry, these negative affirmations constantly. And, you know, they're disguised as like, you know, powerful words like running off on the plug, kind of like what he's saying, there, that double entendre. Like you might think, okay, you're bragging about having a chain, you're bragging about, or a rope, or you're bragging about having a new whip. Um, but, you know, it, it sounds cool, you know, but um, what we're doing is we're actually callousing our mind, our, our mind becomes callous with negative affirmations, you know, and it's just negative words, negative thoughts that we view as power and powerful. But um, it's actually something that's, that's breaking us down mentally and keeping us enslaved. We got to think a little deeper here. So, you know, yeah, let's get back to it. Stay woke. Yeah, my team was playing the plug ahead of the plan. Sometimes we don't even make it the thousand to join. That ain't no money, but that ain't the so those 92 bricks was only 92 dollars. So you gotta close your mouth, but ain't nothing for y'all to mm. It ain't always about the quick money. It ain't always about making it instantly and you know, having these grandiose dreams and making it just like that. They they took baby steps, you know, to their dream and they took a, a illegal means to get there, but still, you know, he's trying to He's trying to say, look, you know, they did it a certain way. It ain't something to wow about. We was chasing our goals, not chasing money. Niggas chasing hoes, you find that funny. I pulled up in the roads, that hoe gonna want me. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's heavy. That's another thing. I think, um, man. The power of having like a true queen is probably the biggest misconception uh, and trick ever used against a black man. I feel like I feel like they make us they make it seem like, you know, we don't have to have or, you know, even I'm, we're guilty of it as well. We don't have to have a strong woman beside us, you know, and it's in, 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 in order for us to be or live to the best of our ability. Um, you know, it's 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 real sad, man. You know, we really got men running around here calling themselves kings, and they don't even know the first thing about running a kingdom, uh, let alone running a family. You know, but they wanna run, they wanna hold that title, and, and, and you know, they're disrespecting women and all this stuff. So it's it's just crazy, man. But but I digress. Let's get back into it. That young king had a lot of tools to slip with me. We gotta leave the physically. We gotta leave that shit physically. Yeah. So, and that's another thing that brings me to a point. What he just said, um, you know, sometimes people, you know, they, you don't, you don't have to be behind bars to be in jail. You do not have to be behind bars to be in jail. Um, just like he said, we gotta, we don't gotta leave the, the, the hood um, physically, but we do gotta leave the hood mentally. Um, 
I personally, and like I've always said, I feel like, you know, we are most of the time prisoners of our own mind, which is probably one of the worst type of prisoners to be. And, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, so that, that's just, that's just, you know, that's, that's a great point. And I, I wanted to kind of just also point out that, you know, any up and coming artist or artist that's already out, man, use some of these tools, man. Uh, and the opportunities to uplift and educate your people because we need it. You know, this is entertainment. Unfortunately, as black men, you know, we're limited in terms of how we, um, or they try to limit us, I should say. Um, they don't want us to use our minds. They want us to use our bodies. They want us to entertain. But um, if you ever heard of the uh, Brazilian martial art, uh, Caboeta, think I'm saying that right. Um, slaves used to use it because they couldn't practice fighting or martial arts or any of that stuff. So they, they looked like they were dancing, but they were actually learning how to attack and how to fight. Um, and so the slave master, it went undetected to the slave masters. It's a lot of those tactics we have to learn to use. Like we have a form of entertainment here, but we can actually use our platform as a form of power and uh, expression that can uplift and empower us all. We have to work together. Um, so yeah, so, you know, Jews, you know, just a few Jews. You don't gotta, they don't gotta be as heavy as this was, but you know, great points. You know, you don't gotta have money. Um, you don't gotta have all of this stuff to, to change and help make change. You can use your resources. You can use the ideas of the people around you. You can use your, your talents and you can, bring forth education, um, you know, with that. I mean, this is, you know, same here. Like what me and KL is doing, um, This we don't do this because we have to. We, we do it because we want to. We do it because we love our people, and we're using our clothing line as a means of educating and uplifting our people and changing the narrative. So um, that's what it's all about with us. We're You know, this is not something we have to do. You know, we're doing really good in our own respective fields of work and we're just doing this because this is something we actually genuinely have fun doing this youtube channel um you know our website our, our clothing line everything that we do um we have fun doing it. we love doing it it's not work to us but we're we're educating our people in the process we're uplifting and changing the narrative in the process but but that's it i'm going to run this video back you're going to be able to watch it without hearing me run my mouth. I want you to just, you know, take away what you can from the video. And, um, yeah, man, leave your comments again. Subscribe. Uh, you know, put on the post notifications. Like the video. And, yeah, 24 Karat Black. Out. Your man and have your people moving. That's a small glimpse into what this he was doing. Anybody still confused as to what he was doing? Neighborhood designed to keep us trapped. They red line is for property cons if you live by blacks. They can press the asset and take the property back. It's a ruthless but a genius plan in fact. So now we fighting over scraps. Crabs in the barrel, but crabs don't belong in the barrel. They ain't never tell us that. So in the barrel, we gon' act like we act. We can easily get out the barrel and stand on each other's back. Whoever gets on top, as long as they stay attached, they can pull everybody out. I was doing just that. I told they go and to stay close. A hundred million dollars on your schedule, lay low. Tell your team to be on point in the places that they go. I never cheat, get killed in the place that he called home. How we gon' get in power, we keep the sauce. But y'all like to run off on the plug, so of course. That ain't lit, that's a means to an end. Me and my team was playing the plug ahead of plan. Sometimes we's only making a thousand a joint. That ain't no money, but that ain't the point. So those 92 bricks was only 92 thousand. So y'all can close your mouth, it ain't nothing for y'all to wow. But it is something to study. We was chasing our goals, not chasing money. Niggas chasing hoes, we find that funny. I pull up in the roads, that hoe gon' want me. Been visit me. That young king had a lot of jewels to split with me. And we ain't gotta leave the hood physically. So we gotta leave that shit mentally.